Hey, Llama here, and welcome to episode 11 on our ARC Survival Ascended playthrough on PvE official servers on the island Xbox. Uh, well, let's see, what are we going to do today? Now today, I uh, really need to crack on with getting myself a Megatherium saddle, to be honest. Uh, now, most likely to find those in the Kano Island cave, so in order to do that, I want to tame myself a Thyla. Uh, so let's uh, let's look at getting ourselves a thyla and uh, and then maybe if we've got time we'll uh, run through the cave and uh, see what we can find okay so we're trawling through the redwoods uh, on a rex with a gillion and uh, basically uh, yep level 45 uh, we're going through and clearing out these low level thylas um, I'll just get them off the tree. Uh, I'll shoot it with the, I've got my shotgun with me, so we'll just hit it with the shotgun, get it to hop off the tree, and then kill it with the Rex, uh, and then we can move on. And basically just clearing out all the low level ones uh, so that we can hopefully get something higher to spawn. Um, they seem to do a very slow motion drop for some reason. I don't fully understand why that is. <laughs> All right, there we go. And of course, we're going to keep the hook claws so we can farm a few of those claws for boss fights. All right. Hey, look at this one. Nice. Uh, what level will please be a good level? Oh, level 35. It's a female, though. Oh, it's an awesome color. I love that blue and black. Um, all right, I think if this, if we can manage to get this to survive the Kano attack, uh, then, yeah, there we go. Oh, stop biting, stop biting, Rex. Oh, little lag there. Um, hopefully, we can tame this one, because that's a cool colour. I might, you know what, I might just let the, it's only a 35, I might just let the Rex tank it for a bit. Um, and knock it out while it's distracted with the Rex. Let's uh, just chuck. This shouldn't take long to knock out. Level 35. Uh, can't be more than a few arrows, surely. One more. Oh, yep. She's running. Oh, yes, that was a hit. And she's down. Sweet. Okay. Let's clear out the locals. Oh, gee, the Rex took a bit of a hammering. That was... Uh, it's only a level 35 Thyla, but you can see the bleed damage uh, really takes its toll. All right. Well, this one shouldn't take too long to tame up, hopefully. Oh, it gave us a bit of time to heal up the Rex while we were waiting. Only took two... Oh, it should only take two kibble, I should say. There we go. And she's tamed. Nice, look at that colour, that is awesome. Uh, got some spare cryopods. Oh, I love the colours. We just need something with decent stats so that we can combine the two together. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Look at that. Oh, that's green. Oh, okay, they looked black. Alright. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's still nice, I still like the colours. All right, let's continue the hunt. Hopefully we can find something decent soon. It's been a long time and a lot of low levels. So we had no further luck that day. This is the next day and I've gone into the Redwoods. Uh, same as um, same plan as before. Uh, and I have actually found myself this one, a 140 male. Uh, which is nice, so we will take that. These are so hard to find in high levels, or at least I don't have any luck. Uh, <laughs> so for sure. Um, I didn't on the other uh, server I was playing on, on ASA. I had really bad luck on ASE when we were doing the uh, preparing for Survival Ascended playthrough. They're just hard to find decent levels, I think. So... We'll clear out the area and then see if we can get this guy in a trap. Okay, so we've built ourselves a fairly standard pitfall trap right in front. Basically kite him in, run there and then slip through the secret door. 
and uh, he shouldn't be able to follow me. I'm just not sure I can get him up the ramp. So we're going to hit him with a, uh, a trank dart to get his attention and then uh, see how we go. I think the last time I had trouble getting them to run up the ramp. So I'm pretty certain they've improved the AI even further. Let's see. Oh, wow. Slow motion fall to the ground. <laughs> Hopefully he stays aggroed on me. I've taken my ghillie hat off so that he can see me. Yep, he's uh, wow, well, he's uh, slow motion running, all right. Oh, look at that. Three quarters of the way up the ramp and then changed his direction. They just do not like. I think the trick here is to try and get them to bite you as they're going up the ramp and get them to follow you in. No, he's still not doing that. I don't really want him aggroing on my Rex. Uh, oh, there we go. He was behind me. He's behind you. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, no. Seriously. All right. We're going to have to plan B this, I think. Um, I think last time I trapped one uh, in a trap, I had to do this. Uh, and that was basically remove the walls at the front of the trap. Get him to follow me in. And I'm sort of tanking his hits a little bit. Uh, which is why I've got the health bruise and then um, pretty much place the wall behind him um, therefore securing him in the trap so let's wait for him to kill is that a turtle or something I don't know what it is but we'll just whack a couple of arrows in uh, let's get these down good idea get the walls down on a hot bar <laughs> that would have been a moment wouldn't it all right, yep, you need to come and aggro on me. Look, I'm the one shooting you. No, no, don't run away. Oh, that's it, yes, okay. All right, now, come in here, come inside. Where's he gone? Hello? Oh, seriously? All right, uh, now, I need to just get this wall placed before he kills me, <laughs> ideally. All right, that should do it, I think. I think uh, that should do it. Okay, good. Now we'll just uh, knock him out from here. Shouldn't take too many um, shots. This is a 298 long neck, um, so it shouldn't take too many trank darts to uh, to knock him out. And uh, and then we'll tame him up. See what stats we get. All right, here we go. Tamed in at 209. Let's see, what do we get? Please be good. 5180, 317. Oh, okay. Oh, it's all right, I suppose. It's not the worst. <laughs> it's okay, I guess, for a 140. It's probably average. It's uh, nothing too special. But look, it's a 140. It's got okay stats. Um, we only really need it to do the Kano Island cave uh, and um, look I mean I'm gonna breed it with the blue female hopefully we get the color through um, but if we don't mainly I'm looking for the stats so I can get an imprinted one so that we can uh, run the Kano Island cave and hopefully get ourselves a Megatherium blueprint let's see how we go All right, so what's next? Look, we need, we got two caves that we need to do for different reasons. So we need to do the lava cave because we need the artifact of the massive, I wanna say it is, I think, which is the last one that we need for uh, the uh, broodmother. Uh, so that we can do the broodmother. Got some megatheriums, which is really good, but I need a decent saddle. Now, the cave that I've seen the most frequent spawns of uh, the megatherium saddle blueprint is actually the Kano Island cave, which is why we needed a thyla. So here is the thyla. So we got the uh, the 140 male that we tamed, and we got. Let's pop that on there. And the beautiful blue colored uh, female 130, uh, sorry, 35, not 135, I wish. 
Um, and unfortunately, we got stats and we didn't get any colours. So we have a plain old brand Thyla, but we do have the stats and it's now fully raised and imprinted. Um, and we got a few levels to add there, not as many as I'd hoped, to be honest. It's been in the cryo fridge um, overnight. The event has now finished, so we're back on one times again. Um, so it did go overnight on two times XP, but it doesn't seem to have gotten a great deal of levels there. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do? Well, I need definitely need health. Um, I'm almost tempted to put just about everything into health. 10k will more than do us, I think. Uh, and then we'll put the stamina on this one is really in the toilet, but I'm going to put the uh, levels into melee. Uh, because I think out of the two, the melee is more important. I really hate how it does that when you're holding a cryopod. Puts you immediately into third person. Um, okay, so that's our Thyla. Now, I've got some other gear with me in order to do this cave. Uh, so let's run through the stuff. So I've got some flak armor, which I'm going to wear. Uh, all good, and then uh, let's just do, let's remove our helmet. There we go, nice. Uh, what else have we got? So I've got uh, an otter, uh, so that while we're in there, we can grab multiple artifacts. Um, if I wear the otter, it will also stop me um, sweating too much, if you want to call it that, uh, getting too hot while I'm wearing my flak, so let's just upgrade the melee on the otter, which is what uh, does the insulation. Nice. There we go, so now we should be fine. Doesn't seem to have had any impact. That's a shame. <laughs> it's still really hot. Uh, okay. I've uh, got a rhino to get there. Um, I've brought a cryo fridge and the generator and a couple of foundations again, so I don't want to carry the Thyla all the way to Kano Island with the uh, the Rhino from here. It's going to be a painful journey um, because they're so slow now since they've been nerfed. So I'm going to try and uh, do what we did before. I'm going to try and get a, uh, a cryo fridge as close as we can. I don't think we'll get one down on the island. We'll try, but I'm pretty sure we won't. So um, tribes who uh, take over the island tend to sort of peg it out fairly um religiously so you you won't find any space on there as a general rule uh, but at least if we can get something uh, just across the water from it and then we just have to carry the thyla across the water um, what else have we got we have grappling hooks don't really need them in this cave but they can come in handy in any cave to be fair um, we've got some antidote we're definitely going to need that so uh, a couple of things one this cave is overrun with bats there's loads of bats in this cave so antidote will most definitely be required uh, and on top of that we're going to try and tame a megalania if we find one in there We've got some extraordinary kibble left over from our thyla taming. Um, we got some narcs and we got some trank arrows and a crossbow um, in case we happen to see one in there, uh, which is really important. Uh, what else? We've got our shotgun, uh, which we will be taking in every cave with us, and we have a metal pick because um, if you haven't seen my uh, uh, video on the Kano Island cave which uh, only just came out recently um, then you uh, may not know but you need to use I've picked up the wrong rhino why does that not have a saddle that's weird okay is that that's the new one that I just raised that's the one that I raised from the 145 I haven't even saddled it yet okay um, yeah, so in that uh, video you'll notice that uh, I do use a thyla in that cave. You can get the thyla through the tunnel into the cave, uh, but you do need to chip away some rocks and stuff like that in order to do that. Uh, that must be the one we're looking for. Uh, so, uh, so we'll take a pick so that we can get the thyla in. Uh, and that's kind of it. So we'll, uh, we'll do the cave, we'll get the... Um, we'll get the 
artifact while we're in there, which is the artifact of the Devourer. Um, that is the artifact required, one of the artifacts required for the monkey, the Megapithecus. Uh, so we'll grab that while we're in there, and we'll probably grab a couple while we're in there if we're uh, taming up a Megalania. And we'll check out the loot drop locations because really the main reason why we're going in there is we want to uh, see if we can get ourselves a Megatherium saddle blueprint. Oh, we couldn't be in luck here. No, someone's put foundations down there. Damn. Was, uh, I thought for a minute there we might have got lucky. How about out here? Any chance? Any chance? We could. No. Nothing. Ah, it was worth a go. No, there's there's a foundation there. Oh, what's that? That wasn't. That didn't say we could place it there, did it? No. Well, the drop location issue. Oh, oh! Hang on a minute. Oh, wait a sec. Is this gonna is this Is this gonna trick me? Is this gonna tell me no, it's too close to a drop? It's not. Whoa, okay. Alright. Well <laughs> I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. We will place our cryo fridge there. We will place our generator there. We will place fuel there. Start that sucker up. All right, here we go. Ready to head on into the cave. Now, before we got into the cave, we came across some alphas. First an alpha Rex. And then an alpha Carno. Now, Kano Island's renowned for alphas, and this was a good way of starting to level up our Thyla. That's not another alpha, is it? No, that's just a regular Rex. Regular Rex. That is an alpha! Wow. Okay. Well, I don't think we can handle another alpha, to be fair. Uh, I think we're, uh, I think we're just going to go into the cave. <laughs> Well, there we go. Well, we've used all the meat. Uh, we're not anywhere near um, healed enough, <laughs> to be honest. But we're going in anyway. All right, let's see. So, now we need to swim through this pool. Um, I find that if you go through, uh, if you see the pool is blue at this end, uh, then that means that is the way into the cave. jump at that last point there we go then we can get into the cave um, on the way out it looks like it's more of a red color than a blue color so uh, the uh, the pool that you need to exit the cave um, has the glow from the red mushrooms now as you can see a lot of bats in here so a lot of bats in here this cave is very overrun with bats so we're going to try and attract some of their attention first. We may have attracted more than I would have preferred. <laughs> so we can kill these and this will also get us some meat which we can use to do some more healing if we need to. Which will be good. And we'll probably come out of this cave with more health than we came in. To be fair. Uh, now these bats don't, uh, they're not sort of light hitters, so they do, um, they do a reasonable amount of damage, as you can see. So the thyle has taken a bit of a hit, uh, but that's okay, we've got a little bit of meat there to heal ourselves up, so we'll do that as we go. Let's go. Oh, we've got some spiders here. Nice. Good. That's alright. We'll go over this way. Whoa, let's not go too quickly. There's some bats. Hmm. 
Now the bats do a knockback damage, so you've got to be careful in this cave not to get knocked off of a ledge. When uh, being attacked by the bats. Which can happen. Uh, and to be honest, the um, at the bottom of this cave is a whole load of stuff. So there's lots of bats, lots of spiders, lots of scorpions at the bottom there. Um, and with the thyla in the present health state that it's in, if we dropped all the way to the bottom, uh, give you an idea of uh, how many are down there, there you go. Um, if we dropped all the way to the bottom, we would most certainly die and, uh, and lose the thyla. I'm under no illusion there. So we don't want to do that. We want to kind of slowly does it. Um, harvest these bodies as we go. There's a spider. No, it's a dung beetle, not a spider. That's all right. I'll take him. Not a great cave to sprint in, to be fair. All right, we've got a loot drop here. That's good. Now, this is really what we came for, to be honest. I mean, there's um, these loot drops... Um, I have got Ascendant Megatherium blueprints out of these blue loot crates. Uh, and that's really what I'm here for, to be honest, uh, is a Megatherium BP. The, uh, the artifact is a nice to have, um, but by no means essential. Is that Scorpion coming? Are you coming? Come on. I know you're going to wait until I hop off the thyla. Alright, let's see. Now, let's get around. Oh, there's a couple of bats there I didn't harvest. Let's have those. Thank you. So, I think we'll get this loot crate and then maybe we'll uh, do a bit of a heal up. Let's see. Oh, no way! Look at that. An ascended Megatherium blueprint. Exactly what we needed. There you go. Well, that couldn't have worked out better. 123.5.5 off of a max level one. But you know what? I'll take that. With a little bit of crafting skill, we can easily get 124 saddles out of that. No problems. It's a little bit expensive. I'm not going to lie. Uh, 4,400 cementing paste per saddle. Ouch. But that is exactly what we needed. That is the last piece of the puzzle for our Broodmother fighting. So actually it's not. We've still got to get an artifact out of the lava cave. So uh, we've still got to do that. But once we've got our artifact, um, we're good to go. We, can, uh, we just need to craft some saddles up. And Broodmother, here we come. Oh, that's awesome. So first trip in the cave. Got exactly what I needed. Uh, I can also see the other thing that we're here for. Um, which is good. I'm already excited by that. I don't know if anyone's seen it in the wall opposite me. <laughs> Cheeky tail poking out of the wall. Oh, come on. What's this, a 120? Look at that. We have a level 20 female Megalania. That couldn't be better, actually. Level 20 is perfect. Uh, nice low level. Easy tame. Keep forgetting how low level this uh, Thyla is. Um, yeah, so really we do. We need a male and a female um, because we're going to need to breed some babies um, in order to uh, get our Megalania toxin. Uh, now, if you didn't know, uh, you need Megalania Toxin to do the Megapithecus fight, uh, at least the Beta or the Alpha. Um, and you get Megalania Toxin by, well, killing Megalania. That uh, They have them in, its, in their inventory. Um, but you can also get it uh, when a baby Megalania hatches. So what you can do is you can get yourself a baby uh, Megalania, so you breed your male and female, 
Um, get yourself, ooh, what's that horrible view, underwater view, I thought I saw something up here. Um, get yourself a breeding pair and once you've got that, then you can hatch eggs. And every time a baby hatches, it hatches with two megalania toxin in its inventory. Um, so really good um, method, to be honest, of uh, getting megalania toxin. Very sustainable because you can just keep breeding um, and keep getting your toxin uh, with, uh, with each baby. And then obviously you can raise the baby if you want to get more megalania to make more toxin. Right, that's the artifact of the devourer. That is the um, the artifact, one of the artifacts used for the megapithecus. So that's handy. We will hang on to that. Uh, we're not quite ready for that fight yet. Although we're also pretty close on that one. Uh, now we need to get this Megalania Dam. Okay, so the Megalania. Here's what happened. So I uh, tried to knock it out where it was. And unfortunately it got stuck in the wall. As you can see here. Um, I successfully managed to knock it out. And then I figured I could grapple hook up there and I could still feed it the narcotics and the kibble to tame it up. But when I got up there, where it had fallen, I couldn't access a tick box. So I couldn't access its inventory to put anything in it, unfortunately. So I left it to wake up. Uh, when it woke up, it crawled right inside the rock and I couldn't see it. So I ended up leaving the cave. And when I returned, this is what happened. Hang on, I see another Megalania. That's a female level 20. Is it the same one? It's not the same one, is it? I just, you know what? I heard it as I came underneath it. The other one was... No. All right, anyway. Let's see if we can get this one. Well, that would be cool. At least we wouldn't be coming out empty-handed. Are you going to come out of the wall? Oh, can I hit you? Okay. Well, you came out of the wall. There's that. I think it's the same one, you know. It looks like it's already hurt. It's the same one. I don't know how it managed to get up here. But I am not going to look a gift lizard in the mouth. So, uh, particularly because it will be full of rabies. So, we're going to tame this. And there we go. Wow, she's still pretty hurt. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, that is our Megalania. Our first female Megalania tame. So, we're going to pod her up. This is a uh, contrast to the first Megalania that I tamed on ASA, uh, which was in the same cave on, uh, on the other um, server that I play on. Uh, and was unfortunately before cryopods were enabled and uh, so I had to craft a saddle and walk the Megalania out of the cave in order to get it out um, and then carry it with an RG from the entrance. A uh, little painful so not unhappy about the fact that uh, this one I can take out in a cryopod. <laughs> makes a big difference so let's do a quick we've been in here a little while now let's do a quick run down to the bottom um, see if any loot crates have respawned just in case uh, and then if not we'll um, head back out again okay another rooftop wrap up these are becoming pretty standard these days uh, so what do we do today 
Well, we tamed ourselves a Thyla so that we could get in the Kano Island cave and retrieve the artifact of the Devourer, which is one of the artifacts you need to do the monkey fight. Um, while we were in there, and the primary reason for going there, to be honest, is we managed to snaffle ourselves a Megatherium blueprint out of one of the drops. Uh, not just any old Megatherium blueprint, but a 123.5 Ascendant blueprint. So almost max level, um, look, not going to lie, very expensive. But uh, I guess that's, uh, you, you, you get what you pay for, yeah? So um, while we were in there, we also managed to get this girl. So we've got ourselves a uh, low level Megalania female, which we now need a male so that we can breed them together, um, start making Megalania babies and harvesting ourselves some toxin, which we will need also need for the monkey fight. Uh, so we need to keep an eye out for a male um, so that we can start doing that. All up pretty successful day. So I'm not going to complain. I'm really pleased about the Megatherium blueprint. That is um, now we just need to get ourselves the artifact of the massive, I think it is in the lava cave, and we can go ahead and do the broodmother once we crafted ourselves a couple of those saddles. So that is awesome. Um, after finding the Rex saddle BP in the last video, um, we're pretty much set. We just need a Therry BP now, which are very hard to come by. Um, but, um, you know, for the dragon fight. But other than that, we've got really all we need to, um, to complete our playthrough. So that's fantastic. Anyway. I hope you liked the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, uh, maybe drop me a like or subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Llama, and I'm out of here.